Praise the Lord. This is Esther Satori. And from, I'm from Group of Sunday Ministries. So that's one day after this. And I'm blessed with the father, mother, and the younger sister. My parents are doing ministry in all of this. Thank God for this wonderful time to stand before you and to share some of the thoughts which God has taught me to me. So I want to share that thoughts. Today we want to discuss, I want to discuss about the millennium. What is the millennium? When does it occur? Will Christians go through the Great Tribulation? We want to see this topic today. Actually, what is the millennium? If we go to the explanation on the scriptural basis, the word millennium means 1,000 years. This word came from the Latin and means that 1,000 years. Millennium means 1,000 years. The term comes from Revelation chapter 20 and verse 4 to 5. So if we see the reference, we can see we go to the scripture portion, Revelation, the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 4 to 5. Here I am reading that. Then I saw thrones and doors seated on them were given authority to judge. I also saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their testimony to Jesus and for the word of God. They had not worshipped the beast or its image and had not received its mark on their foreheads or their hands. They came to life and reigned with the Christ for a thousand years. So when it says that the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were ended, just prior to the statement, we read that an angel came down from heaven and seized the devil and bowed down him for a thousand years and they and threw him into the pit and shut it and shield it over him. That is, should deceive the nations no more till a thousand years were ended. Revelation chapter 20 verse 2 to 3. Throughout the history of the church, there have been three major views on the path and nature of this millennium. Explanation of the three major views. If you see the first one, a millennium. A millennium. A millennialism. The first view to be explained here, a millennialism is really the simplest. It can be pictured as in figure. So if you see that picture, a millennialism. No future millennium. The after church is Revelation chapter 20, verse 20, uh, verse 1 to 6 is now. Then Christ returns in second coming. Or when Christ comes, rejection of believers and resurrection of unbelievers, judgment, new heaven and new earth will happen and then eternal state. That, will, that state is called as the eternal state. So, this is the amillennialism. Present church, this is the age in which Satan's influence over the nations has been greatly reduced so that the gospel can be preached to the whole world. Those who are set to be reigning, reigning with the Christ for a thousand years are Christians who have died, dead and are already reigning with the Christ in heaven. Christ reigning in the millennium, according to this view, is not a boldly reign here on the earth, but rather the heavenly reign he spoke of when he said, all authority in heaven and on the earth has been given to me. Math, as according to Matthew 28, verse 18. Hallelujah. This view is called a millennial because it maintains that there is no future millennium that to come. Since a millennialist believe that Revelation chapter 20 and 20 is now being fulfilled, fully fulfilled in the church age. The whole of the millennium described there is certainly there is currently happening. The exact duration of churches can be known and the expression thousand years. Is simply a figure of speech for a long period of time in which God's perfect purpose will be accomplished. According to this position, the present churches will continue until the time of Christ's return. When Christ returns, there will be a resurrection of both believers and unbelievers. 
the bodies of believers will rise to be reunited with their spirits and enter into full enjoyment of heaven forever. Unbelievers will be raised to face the final judgment and eternal condemnation. Believers will also stand before the judgment seat of Christ, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 10. But this judgment will only determine degrees of reward in heaven, for only unbelievers will be condemned eternally. At this time, also the new heavens and new hell will begin. Immediately after the final judgment, the eternal state will commence and continue forever. This scheme is quite simple because all of the end time events happen at once, immediately after Christ return. Some Emilians say that Christ could return at any time, while others, such as Barkov, argue that certain signs have had to be fulfilled. So next one comes here, forced millennialism. The prefix post means after. According to this view, Christ will return after the millennium. The post millennium view may be represented as a figure. If you see that, post millennialism, Christ comes after the millennialism. Church is and millennium. When Christ comes second coming, after the eternal state. So, second one, post millennialism will gradually increase so that a larger, larger proportion of the world's population will be Christians. As a result, there will be significant Christian influence on society. Society will more and more function according to God's standards and gradually a millennial age of peace and righteousness will occur on the earth. This millennial will last for a long period of time. Not necessarily literally 1000 years and finally at the end of this period Christ will return to here. Believers and non-believers will be raised. The final judgment will occur and there will be a new heaven and new hell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will then enter into the eternal state. The primary characteristic of post millennialism is that it is very optimistic about the power of the gospel to change lives, lives and bring about much good in the world. Believing post millennialism tends to increase in times when the church is experiencing great revival, when there is an absence of war and international conflict, and when it appears that great progress is being made in overcoming the evil and suffering in the world. But post millennialism in its most responsible form is not simply, not based simply on the observation of events in the world around us, but all arguments from various scripture passages which will be examined below. The third one comes pre millennialism. Actually, pre millennialism or classic or historic pre millennialism, the prefix pre means before. And the pre-millennial position says that Christ will come back before the millennium. This view point has a long history from the earliest centuries onward. It may be as represented in another field classical pre-millennialism. Christ comes before the millennium churches and Christ catching up of believers to be with Christ immediate. So immediate uh, resurrection of believers, new heaven and new earth, then millennium. And Christ, second coming of Christ, and eternal state. According to this viewpoint, the present church age will continue until, as it nears the end, a time of great tribulation and suffering comes on the earth. Here, P. In the figure above stands for tribulation. After that time of tribulation at the end of the church is Christ will return to earth to establish a millennial kingdom. When he comes back, believers who have death will be raised from the dead. Their bodies will be reunited with their spirits, and these believers will reign with Christ on earth for 1,000 years. Some pre-millennials take 
this to be a literal 1000 years and others understand it to be a symbolic expression for a long period of time. During this time, Christ will be physically present on the earth in his resurrected body. And will reign as king over the entire earth. The believers who have been raised from the dead and those who are on earth when Christ returned will receive glorified resurrection bodies that will never die. And in these resurrection bodies, they will live on the earth and reign with Christ. Of the unbelievers who remain on earth, many but not all will turn to Christ and be saved. There are many the Jesus will reign. Jesus will reign in perfect righteousness and there will be peace throughout the earth. Many premiers hold that the earth will be re renewed and we will, we will in fact see the new heavens and new earth at this time. But it is not essential to premiumism to hold this. For one could be a premiumist and hold that the new heavens and new earth will not occur until after the final judgment. At the beginning of this time, Satan will be born and cast into the bottomless pit. To that, he will have no influence on the earth during the millennium. According to chapter Revelation, chapter 20 and verse 1 to 3. According to the premillennial viewpoint, at the end of the thousand years, Satan will be loosed from the bottomless pit and will join forces with many unbelievers who have submitted or fallen to Christ's reign but have only been seen rebellion against him. Satan will gather these rebellious people for battle against Christ, but they will be deceivably defeated. Christ will then raise from the dead all the unbelievers who have turned throughout this way, and they will stand before him for final judgment. After the final judgment has occurred, believers will enter into the eternal state. It seems that premillennialism has tended to increase in popularity as the church has experienced persecution and has suffering and evil have uh, increased in the year. But as in the case of post-millennialism, the arguments for the pre position are not based on the observation of current event, but on the specific passage of scripture, especially but not exclusively, Revelation chapter 20 and verse 1 to 10. And another one is pre-tribulational premillennialism or dispensational premillennialism. Another variety of premillennialism has gained widespread popularity in the 19th and 20th century, 20th centuries, particularly in the United Kingdom and the United States. According to this position, Christ will return not only uh, uh, before the millennium, Christ returns his premillennium, but also it will occur before the Great Tribulation. This position is similar to the classical premillennial position is mentioned above, but with one important difference, it will add another return of Christ before the return to reign on earth in the millennium. This return is thought to be a secret return of Christ to take believers out of the world. The pre tribulation of premillennial view may be represented as another figure. Here in this figure we can see church is catching up the believers to be with Christ. Pre-tribulation of premillennialism of when Christ comes, second comes, seven years resurrection of believers, seven years with Christ, then millennium stays and after the resurrection of unbelievers, judgment, you have a new year death at not state. That is called pre-tribulation of premillennialism. According to this view, the church is will continue until suddenly and expected by them and secretly Christ will return pathway to earth and then will call believers to itself. 